Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, my go-to for building a website and online shop. Hello everyone, today I'll be creating a classical Chinese portrait in the style of European classical realism oil painting. Stay tuned until the end for a satisfying varnishing video. Real quick before I begin, if you'd like to see a 60 minute tutorial of this video with a color mixing demo, along with hundreds of hours of exclusive content and monthly art rewards, feel free to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash happydartist. I started off with a monochromatic grisaille layer where I generously applied thick painterly textures. Well, I guess thick for me since I usually paint so thinly. Um, I made sure to keep the shadows thin and airy while building up more texture on the highlights. I figured if I was to try to push myself to use more texture, I should do it in the first monochromatic layer where I had less things on my plate. Once I got to the color layer, I would be primarily focused on tightly rendering, accuracy, and of course, color harmony. at the color layer and I was straining my eyes trying to render all the little details with the smallest brush I had I really regretted not springing for a bigger panel earlier this measures about 6 by 8 inches and I think it would have been better as an 11 by 14 or optimally a 16 by 20 I need to stop painting so small honestly I keep thinking it'll take me less time if I paint smaller, but in the end, I think it takes me longer because I'm trying to carefully cram all this detail with a microscopic brush, and I guess because of my obsessive need to render everything as tightly as possible, if I paint too big, I also risk potentially wasting lots of time indulging in my perfectionist tendencies, because the larger the surface area, the more space for me to lose myself rendering tiny details to no end. inspiration for this portrait was John Singer Sargent, and though I naturally gravitate towards a more detailed painter like Bouguereau, I think there's so much value in studying and learning from as many classical masters as I can. Sargent's ability to describe detail with minimal brush strokes, as well as his realistic neutral color palette, is one of the best in the game. And so I really wanted to mimic him in this portrait, particularly the way he portrays skin tones against a dark backdrop. This was a very fun exercise for me because I've been falling more and more in love with classical realism oil painting, which obviously originated in Europe, so most of the subjects of classical oil paintings are Europeans. I've always wondered how the classical realism style would look when applied to an Asian portrait, and after not being able to find many examples online, I decided to just try to make one myself. And I'm pleasantly surprised with how it turned out. I really like the marriage of two different cultures into one painting that kind of represents me as an artist in a way, and I hope to make more of these types of paintings in the future. All right. 
right, now it's time for the satisfying moment we've all been waiting for, varnishing. Okay, that about wraps up today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to adopt this little painting, she's listed in my shop at happyd-artist.com. And of course, you guessed it, my eternal never-ending sale is still going on in my shop. So if you'd like 20% off your order of prints and originals, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and and even surprise art gift boxes, all available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting the art community. Squarespace is the best platform to create a professional website and online shop. Their beautifully designed templates are easy to use for beginners and look great on both desktop and mobile. I've sold my art through Squarespace for almost 10 years and I can attest to the quality of their online commerce features, whether you want to sell digital or physical items. They also provide useful analytics that help you make the most of your online business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash happydartist to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist. Mm -hmm.